Hi guys, so uh, I thought I'd do a quick tutorial style thing or just documenting the process really of changing from a Mac Mini 2012 to a Mac Mini M1 with PreSonus Studio One uh, DAW and mostly PreSonus kit that I've got here. Now there's a few things that came into play when I did all this. So the first issue, let's just start with what my existing setup is, which is my Studio Live 1642 mixer connected via Firewire to this, sorry about the mess, but this is just how it is at the moment, uh, to my Mac Mini 2012. This is a 2.3 gig i7 model with 16 gig of RAM. Um, it came with eight and I put another eight in. It has a one terabyte standard hard drive and a 256 gig SSD built built in. I put the SSD in it afterwards. I've also got connected to that a remote drive here. I've got two ones there which I think is one terabyte and there's another one hiding underneath here which is um, I think 500 gig. All that goes to via well via all these ports on the back you can see I'm using every single possible outlet on the Mini and also I've got a seven way it's a total 10 way USB hub there that's an anchor powered hub the, I find the anchor stuff really cool it works um, and it's just just doesn't fail it seems um, that's got seven USB on it and three charging points I think so all that lot within that lot I've still got my um, fader port 8 connected I've got my Atom connected I have uh, central station down there with HP6 headphone amp. The reason I've got the mixer and the reason I like the mixer idea is because I've got some other stuff like um, here I've got a, a, an old Burn It CD writer, I've got my um, cassette deck down there, I've got some other stuff, I've got um, a Kemper, I've got a couple of amplifiers. All these things I like to keep connected all the time so I can call them up at any time to direct them to the DAW. Now you know I could go to another mixer route but I, I didn't want to do that really. Um, I didn't want to get rid of this one seems too good to, to get rid of so so this is about the transition from this to the Mac Mini M1. Now the Mac Mini M1 that I've got has 256 onboard SSD that's it and a much more limited amount of ports in the outlet so in in doing that it means i've got to make some compromises because in my naivety i was hoping although if i'd have done my research i would have known that this mixer will not connect to this m1 mini um there was some research that said people said it would it should work you can get firewire adapters all that and i've gone down the road here I've got I've got Thunderbolt cables, I've got a, I've got Firewire to USB C adapters, I've got charging cables, I've got all sorts. Um it doesn't work. Well I couldn't get it to work and presoners say in their documentation categorically it will not work. It is not compatible with this M1 processing software system. So that's part one. That's the the mission um, the next video I do will be how I'm actually going to use the M1 and get it connected because with the I've had to move from this and I've had to get this quantum 2626 well there was a couple of other things I could have got but the quantum came up at the right price so I decided to use that anyway I'll come back to the all the other challenges in the next video